time for Law and Disorder. I demand a lawyer. With attorney Jeff Kaufman on 1011 WJRR. All right, we welcome in Kaufman uh, from Kaufman and Lind. If you or someone you know has been injured, slip and fall, you know, car accident, whatever the case may be, do you have a case that warrants legal representation? Would you like that answered for you? Maybe blow a call into Jeff. You might answer that question before even considering anything else. Yeah, save you money, possibly. And then if you do need representation, obviously, I'll take care of you. Jeff at whenyouneedus.com is his direct email. Or pound 546 on your cell. What's up, Jeffrey? Good days. Good days, gentlemen. Always a pleasure to be with you. Helping out, doing what I can. There you go. You have a event coming up. It's this Thursday, right? Yeah, we have our All for the Money show, which is a free comedy show we do once a month at uh, the downtown at downtown at the corner. Tickets are free. Go to whenyouneedus.com slash events. You know, once a month, everyone just needs a time to get away and laugh about some nonsense. And uh, we deliver upon that with uh, headliner stand-up comedians, and we just have a good time. Good deal. Um, cough or, uh, or a bulldog went the other week, I heard. Yeah. Well, Bianchi went. Matt, yeah, Bianchi. Mike the Bulldog Bianchi. That's what I'm talking about. Mike went to my show on uh, at the Bloodhound Brewery uh, about... A little over a week ago. Mm -hmm. And he had a good time. Yeah. He had a good time. I think he was a little surprised. Yeah. I think he was surprised. He goes, I I guess Kaufman can do this. Uh So it was a fun show. He had a great time, man. It was good seeing him. He he wrote solo. And uh, it was a good time. All right. Yeah. Again, if you need tickets for this Thursday's event, it's uh, whenyouneedus.com slash events. Let's get to some of these questions. Let's do it. If you have a question... Personal injury is his specialty, but he does all legal questions. 22526. We bought a home, I don't want to say who the builder is, in 2019. Brand new. And we just discovered black mold under the wall and floor tiles in the master shower. Uh, They're refusing to take ownership, the builder. I have multiple pictures of the mold under the tile. What can we do? Well, you got about... 2019, you close. Six years later, you discover you got a mold issue. Um, first, your insurance company, your homeowner's insurance, that might be covered under their issue. Uh, one of the big issues is, is is you're going to have to take care of it because that stuff can make you really sick. And that's what um, I was thinking for you on the personal injury side. I mean, yeah. black mold is nothing to deal with. But that normally deals with your renter, your renter's insurance and things like that. Uh, if you're renting, not not if, if no, you're the one who home. owns it. Yeah, they bought a home from a builder. Well, I, I do know that, but it's been six years since they bought it. Mm-hmm. So you have a couple issues. Uh, you did get, it was inspected. The question is, is this black, black, what causes black mold? And I think, first off, you need an expert. You need to have a plumber come in and say, okay, why do you have it? I mean, because obviously there's some leakage through the walls in your in your bathroom. If he's going to go, well, yeah, this was done wrong. You know, they shouldn't have built it this way. Then you could possibly sue the builder. But if they said, listen, this stuff just happens naturally over time, you, you need to find out the cause of it. Yeah, so get get yeah. a plumber out there first. The uh, neighbors, our neighbor's tree fell into my yard and crushed my fence. They've made no attempt to remove the tree. Are they responsible for the cleanup and the repairs to the fence? First off, contact your homeowner's insurance. Find out what's covered. They might go after the other guy's homeowner insurance. So first go to your own home and, oh, and find out where you stand with them first. Yeah, because uh, just tree removal can cost you some jack. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's expensive. Oh. Um, car was stolen five days ago by a 16-year-old. Do I have any legal rights for suing for the damages and wages lost not being able to go to work? Sure you do, but you're going to try to go after a 16-year-old? That's uh-huh. blood from a stone, brother. But, you know. How listen, about the parents? Can they go after the parents? It, it, in certain situations, you can if the parents were aware of it, if they knew about it, so on and so on. I mean, if the kid gets arrested, for example, that could be part of his restitution. I mean, I know that's not going to help out, but it could be part of his probation. You know, that happens to adults. Adults can be held responsible for damages in criminal cases. I mean, I don't know. Did they catch him? Did they not catch him? I mean, I don't mm-hmm. know. obviously he found out who it was because he knew it was, found out it was a 16-year-old. Yeah. But uh, getting money out of a kid is almost is, is not easy. I remember the worst and scariest words Give were sixteen year old credit for being outside. I remember yeah. we had <laughs> remember a little so bit trying ago. Trying to find a half full here somewhere. Yeah. Remember we had the what was it the uh, high school party of twenty 
16 or something a little bit ago. Oh, I, I, that's, I, I've moved on from that, Jeff. Yeah, the kids are tough. <laughs> kids on. are tough. Bridge over troubled waters. Yeah, the lady had a lot to say about that. So, uh, vehicle right. stolen in that situation. Yeah, yeah almost that, too. Yeah, I'm still still waiting for my check from that punk. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, good luck. He's yeah. got to sell I, some I should more. have just had Patty answer that question. It's, Shoot the kid. He's got to sell you some know? more crack to get you that money, Pat. Yeah. Um, no, the worst words ever when you were growing up was, we're going to have to contact your parents because they're going to be responsible. I don't know if it was like that for you guys, but when I heard that, I was asses and elbows or anything. I did not yeah. want. There are a couple things that we're told as kids, like uh, possession is nine-tenths of the law. Uh-huh. I'm like going, I haven't read that law <laughs> in any of the states I'm a member of. I always hear people, people always rely on these stupid sayings they've heard or the internet. A friend of mine got hurt really bad, and they're going, oh, you got to take them to small claims court. I'm going... You know that's limited, right? You know, everyone thinks they watch like people's court and they understand the law or Judge mm-hmm. Judy and they go, take him to Judge Judy. No. Guys, guys, you know, just just contact an attorney. You know, they'll they'll tell you where you are. Major injury, uh, Jeff at, yeah. at when you need us dot com. Jeff at when you need us dot com. Um, if Jeff has time, maybe he can explain what he's called the quote unquote billboard lawyers and how the huge dollar amounts in those billboards are misleading. Listen, I've, I've mentioned this before, and I'll say it again. Anytime in every, anyone's website or billboard where it says, uh, they got me this much money, or billions won. That's always my favorite. I would, the biggest 20 billion won. Um, the person only normally gets a third of that. A third goes to the attorney, a third goes to the medicals, and a third goes to the client. That's that's the normal amount they get. So when you see a figure, you know the question you should ask is how much that person got. And also, there's also something very important too. At the bottom of most of those things, and on websites, it said results not typical. Now, anytime I have to tell you, and this is the hardest thing for me, I have to tell clients sometimes because this is why I always tell you about uninsured motorists. You know, the person who hits you. No matter if you have serious injuries or not, if they don't have insurance or they have a low amount, you are not going to be able to be taken care of. Your medicals are not going to be covered. So that's why it's very important that you get a good policy to protect yourself because I think the last figure was almost half the drivers in Florida. It's a coin flip whether they have insurance or not or whether they have what they call bodily injury. You can get the cheapest insurance. Like you see the ones with the cartoons. You know, that's some cheap ass insurance. Mm-hmm. So what happens is, you know, they pay like $100 a month and it doesn't cover uh, if you hurt, hurt somebody else. It will cover property damage. But that's it. Half the I, people I, are covered. That is just scary. It's disgusting. I, I, re- I see it all the time. I remember, though, Jeff, to be fair here, man, I go back to like when I was now responsible for my own insurance. I've, you know, I've yeah. left the safety of mommy uh, and daddy. Like 17 years old reality. Uh, I, uh, you no, know, it was it was a little later than that. They, they, they covered me till I was out of high school. And uh, then they put it on me. I First thing I did, I you know, I went into one of those places. Those I said, just make yeah. me legal to get on the road. That was it. Yep. And I can tell you, even though I knew that was all I had, I, it was in the back of my head. And I'm like, oh, man, I got to I gotta figure something out here because this, right. <laughs> this is not good. I remember that. It was like Now, imagine being bucks. the responsible adult and going, okay, I and everyone says the same thing. I've got full coverage. I'm going to shock the hell out of half your listeners. You don't have full coverage. What you have is you bought some insurance you paid a lot of money for it but you checked a box and that box says uh i'm gonna pass on uninsured motorists and all of you are going to be shocked and do me a favor open your app open your geico app open whatever and check your uninsured motorists and you are going to be horrified to think that one of these people who either have no insurance or have what we call uh pat lynch insurance you know you're not going to get covered well, let's call it early Pat Lynch. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah no, I'm I'm, 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 I'm covered. I'm blanketed right you know, now. So Jeff. better hope Pat hits you. But anybody else, <laughs> you know, you got a 50-50 <laughs> Thanks. Shot. And don't trust Taco's insurance. I don't. You know, Whatever. I'm. I'm oh, you, know, you probably got it from the back of a cereal box. I'm straight up good, brother. Okay. Um, on all these uh, texts, we'll we'll print out the ones that we didn't get to, like this one about uh injured on the job years ago. Uh, Oof, over a certain period of time, that's tough. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll print that for next week. You can send your questions in two two five two six is the text line, or email Jeff directly with personal injury situations 
Jeff at WhenYouNeedUs.com or pound 546. And how do they get tickets for the show oh, again this Thursday? Go to WhenYouNeedUs.com slash events. I look forward to seeing you. Half the people who come to the events are, are from uh, JRR, and they say the same thing. They go, oh, my God, I didn't expect this. So we're going to have a good time. All right. It's uh, WhenYouNeedUs.com slash events for right. free tickets. And again, your takeaway, and Bob and I will both back, Jeff, to see if you have uninsured motors. Yes. And if you don't... Pay the extra money and get it. Yeah. Get it. It's, it's going to save you In a the headache end. down the line. Yeah. Jeff, thank you. I miss you guys. Happy happy past Memorial Day, though. Oh, we miss Memorial Day. Yeah. All right. So good seeing you guys. All right. We'll uh, get back with you again next Monday. Jeff Kaufman from Kaufman and Lind. Lind and Taco. Demand. Download the iHeartRadio app.